can we really compare these two? This drone for $699 comes with two batteries. This one is $1,249. Come on, this can't be real. 20 megapixel camera versus this one has a 12 megapixel camera. Lossless zoom, check, check. One button dolly zoom and hyperlapse, check, check. Like in this little drone. Before I go any further, let's take a moment to thank MadMixTube.com and Autonomous Drone Services, both the sponsors for these two drones. Well, actually, I have one here, the Mavic Zoom, but they've also sponsored me to use the Mavic 2 Pro. Two awesome drones that I was able to get my hands on thanks to them. So do me a favor, check the link below, browse and see if their services is something you're interested in. And now we've got to be testing these two bad boys out. This one has a 20 megapixel camera. This one has a 12 megapixel camera. This one does photo resolution 4000 by 3000. This one does 5000 by 4000. Hmm. So you're telling me this has a 21 megapixel camera versus a 12. This one has a higher photo resolution, this one has a lower one. Looking at the photos side by side, honestly to me, I thought that with a 20 megapixel camera, a higher resolution that the Pirate Anafi has, that you would really see this drone shine, really outshine the Mavic 2 Zoom, but it doesn't. They both produce excellent quality videos and photos and again you can see that the Nafi is warmer the Mavic 2 zoom is cooler even though the Pirate Nafi's photo quality is higher I'm still very impressed with the Mavic 2 zooms photo quality all of these drones to me within the half inch sensor spectrum all tend to look the same and it's really hard to tell the difference. Nine out of 10, people are gonna be asking, well, which drone did you use? The main point that I'm trying to highlight here is that there's no huge difference between the cameras. They both do an excellent job taking photos and taking videos. Both drones I did notice as well when yawing to the left or when yawing to the right, there is some jump or some shake in the footage. I thought the, that the Anafi would have that because it's not quite using a three axis gimbal. And when you spin on the yaw, I 
expected that it would jump and shake a lot i was a little surprised to see the mavic 2 zoom doing that as well but hey i guess it's a thing with all drones uh some more than others and the pirate anafi did have a little bit more shape compared to the zoom this one here has the one button dolly zoom that this one comes with Honestly, whether you're using Dolly Zoom on the Mavic 2 Zoom or on the Pirate Anafi, they both seem kind of a gimmicky kind of a feature to me. All in all, it doesn't matter what drone you use, the Dolly Zoom just really doesn't impress me. But if that's something that you're looking for, I think that both of them are very comparable. There's a lot more distortion when the Pirate Anafi starts to zoom, but not anything really noticeable because it happens so fast. The Pirate Anafi has three options for you to Dolly Zoom, whereas the Mavic 2 Zoom only has one. The other thing definitely worth noting about the Mavic 2 Zoom, and this is where the price difference really comes in, is that it really feels nice to, ha to know that you have that rear sensor so you can focus on you know, saying goodbye or waving or shaking or whatever you want to do when it's doing the dolly zoom and the drone is flying backwards. You don't have to worry about colliding with anything because it has the rear sensors and the rear sensors always work. That peace of mind and security is definitely a feature that I enjoy in the zoom that I wish the Pirate and Afi had, but I'm not going to complain at that price point. This also has the one button hyperlapse feature. that this one just came out with. The hyperlapse one button feature is one of the huge selling points for this Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Pro when DJI released it. And the Pirate Anafi already came equipped with this feature. Let's compare the two side by side. The Mavic 2 Zoom actually saves it to your phone and actually puts music in the background so you can share it right away with friends or family and it also saves the original file on the SD card whereas the Pardon Afi just saves it on the SD card nothing right away for you to share you can download it to your phone if you want over the Wi-Fi but that will take some time this has an optical zoom and that means you don't lose any quality This one has a digital zoom, but it has a digital lossless zoom. And that means that even though it's digital, they're claiming that you don't lose any quality. The best thing to do is to put these two drones side by side and let's uh, have a zoom contest, if you will.
Mavic 2 zoom actually zooms a little better and it is 100% lossless because it's optical zoom, let's face it. But looking at the Paradanafi's footage on the lossless zoom, even though it's 1.4 zoom instead of two, it is a decent zoom. And let's face it, it's somewhat lossless. I mean, if you look really in the corners, maybe you can see a little bit of, of pixelation, maybe just a little bit of distortion. But to the average eye, to the average hobbyist, someone who's paying $700, I think it's doing a really good job. Now this drone absolutely does a lot of the features that this does, but this one absolutely does it better. It's like how this has D-Log, you can just put this in P-Log as well and add your own colors in post-production. And same thing with the photos, you can shoot in RAW with this camera as well and add your color in after if you don't like the original color that the camera produces this does feel a lot lighter a lot cheaper don't let this fool you this drone is really strong i had an accident flying it where a racing drone yes a racing drone collided into me don't let the feel and the tiny motors and the tiny camera and the tiny shape and the tiny size of this drone fool you it is absolutely i mean this thing feels like you can just it feels like a toy it doesn't feel like seven hundred dollars well spent but i guarantee you it is now this one is a lot more stable and these are the things you're, you're paying for even though this one has a downward facing sensor this one just does a much better job this one here has the dji restricted zones and stuff like that this does not ask you anything this one's flight time is 25 minutes roughly and this one to me flies about five minutes more and this one has OcuSync 2.0. These drones fly really far. This one is Wi-Fi, and that's a bummer for me. That is the biggest bummer. Only time you'll get far is if there's no interference. Would I recommend this drone? Absolutely. Right now, it's on sale on Amazon. I'll leave some links below with two batteries for $6.99 versus this that comes with one battery for $12.49. More flight time you're getting with this. You're getting a better quality uh, zoom with this and you're getting the sensors. You get stuff like A-Pass and this app does have a few more features built in that this one does not. You're getting the long range. You're getting uh, the DJI brand, which is a known brand. This drone is a little faster too. Uh, but this drone can get up there when you turn those parameters up this thing can book it It can handle wind not as good as this but it can handle wind today it was about 20 miles an hour wind and it took it very well This is quieter. So if you're worried about disrupting people This is definitely and possibly the quietest drone that I have heard today if you're not big on range and you're confident to the point where you don't need sensors or you just do not want to spend a thousand plus dollars on a drone and have a drone that has a really good camera and some features that this can do not quite as good but good enough so ladies and gentlemen you will not be disappointed in this little guy I'm gonna leave you here with this being the bang for your buck this here guys is the bang for your buck if you're not a patreon head over to my patreon account with that one dollar that you subscribe to me every month will earn you a chance to win six of these dji mavic 2 pro drones as always i would love to thank madmixtube.com and autonomous drone services for sponsoring these two drones for me to unbox fly and test and share my results with you without them none of these videos would be possible i hope this video shines some light on you especially when it comes to the pirate and afi drone because i know that a lot of people have been flying this drone and did not have much good things to say and i really believe that they just did not give this drone a chance to prove itself and that's because from the time they held it they touched it they didn't like how it felt but like i said i gave it a chance and i'm really impressed with it for the money